you guys know today what's in my gym bag and I keep all sorts of things in my gym bag always trying to anticipate what I may need while I am in fact at the gym <laughs> um, so for me that means a lot of different things I mean supplements physical things I might wear while I'm training different you know aids that I might use accessories things of that nature so without further ado I'm gonna show you exactly what I've gotten here I always keep a Tupperware tub full of chalk that I'll use um, depending. I use it on everything from deadlifts to uh, bench, even sometimes on the squat bar. I also keep, well, always I come to the gym with a full bottle of water. I've got a sweatshirt. I do always like to begin my training uh, in a sweatshirt, maybe not in the, the middle of summer, but oftentimes until my body's warmed up, uh, I will keep a sweatshirt on and then depending on what the weather's like, either go down to a t-shirt or tank top or sometimes just if it's the middle of winter, leave a sweatshirt on. I keep Animal Nitro. You guys have been following me over the years and know that I'm a staunch supporter of this product. It, uh, it has a very beefy, BCAA complex, but it is not just a BCAA product. It is an essential amino acid product that supplies all nine of the essential amino acids. And um, really what it does, it aids your recovery tremendously. The thing I really love about the product is I can use it whether I'm off season or pre-contest because it is just aminos. There's no uh, added carbs or sugars or uh, flavors, sweeteners, so on and so forth. It's just straight aminos and it's a product that's good all year round, no matter what. If I'm traveling, I could just throw it in my gym bag, my suitcase. Uh, I could put some packs of it in my pocket. I really can't say enough good things about the product. I keep a giant rubber band in case I run into a giant stack of money. <laughs> uh, I use this on the leg press oftentimes. Um, what it'll do is it'll kind of change the resistance curve of it. So just making sure nobody walks off with it, I keep it in my gym bag. Lifting straps. Don't really need to explain that to you guys. Carbo Plus is another product I've been using for quite a long time. And it's just a straight up carb product. This is unflavored. Um, it never bloats me, it never upsets my stomach or gives me diarrhea or anything like that or any wild fluctuations in blood sugar, which a lot of other carbohydrate powders will do. Um, it's cost effective, it just works. And I always keep that in my gym bag. I also keep glutamine. Now, I know in recent years, people have said, oh, well, you know, glutamine, it doesn't build muscle and blah, blah, blah. To that, I would say, well, look, Water doesn't technically build muscle either, okay? But we all know how important that is. Glutamine definitely helps to hydrate the muscle. I notice that when I use it, I feel fuller, uh, my, my pumps are better, and I do believe that it aids my recovery. And it's, you know, it's cost effective enough where I can keep it in in a good amount. You know, a lot of times when people say, well, I tried glutamine, it didn't do anything for me. Taking five grams a day, probably not gonna do the trick. So I use upwards of 20, 30 grams per workout, and I love it. Creatine, now that I'm post-contest, I added it back into my regimen. And um, again, I mean, it's, it's tried and true. It's no fancy um, forms, it's just monohydrate. It works, it's uh, you know, universal, as with all their products. Make sure to use good ingredients, I mean, this is a um, you know, it's a Crea Pure brand of creatine, so there's no unnecessary byproducts or anything that's gonna screw you up. Again, it just works. I mean, I like to use things that work. I don't get into a lot of newfangled, sexy stuff. I like to stick with the basics, and that's the stuff that works, and that's the stuff I stick with. Shaker, obviously, so I can mix all this stuff up. Um, I don't know if I've got anything in these pockets. 
Ah, plastic fork. How many times I've come to the gym and I forgot my damn fork? And I've had to ask around the gym, does anybody have a fork? If somebody set up shop selling plastic forks at the gym, they could probably sell them for a few bucks a piece and make a ton of money because everyone's always looking for a fork and it's one of the hottest commodities in the gym. So stay tuned for a branded animal fork in the future. <laughs> That's all I've got. So now you know what I keep in my gym bag. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>